desperate need of a self-care day also these are my new glasses i just want to apologize because i'm giving velma vibes Anyway, I've been so stressed out. I've been so like all over the place and I just I really need a day just to take care of myself Like I, I don't know, I've just like been like so tired and like I've been like focusing on like everyone else but myself And I feel like I look like a dusty musty rusty rat I am going to be taking you guys along with me on my ultimate self-care night You know what I mean. So let's start out with hair oiling But first a quick shout out to today's sponsor I want to show you guys everything that I got from Addicted Thank you so much Addicted for sponsoring today's video I chose out the cutest pieces The first thing that I got is this super cute little top It just has a little number 6 on the top left corner And to pair with this top These really long shorts They are pretty low waisted I love the way that they look I got this skirt I love I love how this fits. It makes me look super nice and cute. It goes well with literally everything. Also, a pair of jeans. I've been on the hunt for the perfect jeans that fit nice, that look nice. These are perfection. I love the way that they fit. I ended up getting a basic little white top. I love this one because it's not super simple. It has a little frilly trimming around the top and it has a cute little rose in the middle. I thought it was so cute. I also got another white top. This one's different. It's kind of like a tank top and it has like lace little straps I also ended up getting these shorts. I feel like these would be like cute to wear on top of my bathing suit Look how cute. Oh my gosh. These are Brazil shorts. I love the crochet knit material I'm obsessed. Also these shorts. I love the little like roughly like little edges Like I don't know. It's so cute and I got the matching top with it as well. This top is the most cutest top ever it has like the little frilly edges on the sleeves this is definitely one of my favorite pieces i've been seeing these everywhere these are definitely trending for this spring slash summer these are the last two things that i got i've been obsessed with these boxer type shorts with this little plaid pattern and to go with that i got this cute little strawberry top look how cute it is if you guys want to go ahead and get any of these pieces i will have them in the description box for you guys to go check out and also use my code MellyMel10 for 10% off and yeah that's it let's get back to the video welcome to Z bathroom how do you say bathroom in French Le poupou uh, toilet toilet wait what did I did you say toilet I meant bathroom so de bon so de bon I need to speak French I need to learn how to speak French I want to be French merci au toi Cat saying cities. I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay. Anywho, let's get into hair oiling. Step one. We have boot brush. Bro, I don't know if I can really brush my scalp for 10 minutes. Like. vibes in here are not vibing. Hi. Now I'm going to show you guys my body care after the shower. Step number one is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Exfoliating Toner. I use this to help with my strawberry legs, any bumpiness on my knees. Step two, you always want to put your moisturizer on damp skin, so I just use this little rose water to dampen my legs. And step number three is the EOS Vanilla Cashmere Body Lotion. Step number four, deodorant. This is my favorite one. It's from Salt and Stone. It smells amazing. Step number five, body mists. It just smells so amazing. And that's it for my body care. And now we're gonna choose some cute PJs. This is my little cute PJ set. Okay. 
Okay guys, I'm going to show you my hair care. Really, really, really simple. I just use the Kerastase Genesis leave-in conditioner. I also use a little bit of this Briogeo Farewell Frizz blow-dry cream. <laughs> Came to my sister's room if you guys don't know i recently redid her room it is so cute in here i'm gonna blow dry my hair because my room is like right next to my mom's and if i make noise she will kill me so As part of my self-care routine, that means I have to take my vitamin D. I don't know if I ever told you guys, but I went to go get my blood work done and they told me that my vitamin D is at an 11 and it should be over 30. I cannot swallow pills and I hate that about me. I take my pill with yogurt because it tricks my brain into thinking that I'm not swallowing anything. Just like get it into my mouth and I cover it over. I'm so scared. I'm scared I'm gonna choke. God, please help me. Ugh. I definitely felt that one go down the hatch. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm such a baby. I hate it. So I just washed my face. <gasps> mm. I think I've been breaking out because one, I've been using new skincare. I think it's also because I'm getting my period. <laughs> And now we leave this on for 10 minutes. Okay guys, I'm back. I just finished washing my face and now I'm gonna do my little skincare lineup. So I've really been wanting to purchase the Dr. Dennis Gross face wear because I heard that it's supposed to help with like skin firmness, wrinkles, anti-aging, all that stuff. If you guys don't know, I am turning 25 in June. I think it's crazy to think that I'm literally gonna be 25. It's just so surreal to me. Obviously, I know aging is normal, it's just a part of life, but I also really love taking care of my skin and making sure my skin looks nice and youthful for as long as possible. Like, I don't wanna just be so like ignorant and like not care about my skin. Like, if I know that I can like take care of it and like make sure that it ages nicely, then I ob obviously will. The only thing is that that Dr. Dennis Gross mask is like 400 and something, $455. It's a lot of money, but if it's worth it, it's worth it, you know? I also think it's important to use retinol and vitamin C. So I've been trying to stay consistent with using both of those. I'm going in with my good jeans from Sunday Riley right on top of my retinol. This is a lactic acid treatment. I have a lot of texture on my nose and like even like around like the sides of my face and a little bit on my forehead. So I've been trying to get rid of that for as long as I can remember. Okay, last but not least, using my Rode Barrier Restore Cream. I really do love this moisturizer. Now, while my skin is still a little damp, going in with my Gua Sha, I've been trying to stay as consistent as possible with this. I catch myself lacking sometimes. I'm gonna go in with eye cream now. I feel like I still notice creasing even after using this consistently. If you guys know of a good eye cream, let your girl know. La Roche-Posay Cicoplast. This is supposed to help with sebaceous film. Ow! Break! Oh, please don't break me out. Please don't break me out. And the last step. I love Summer Fridays. If you haven't tried Summer Fridays, what are you doing? Okay, now I'm gonna do my nails because I've never let my nails grow out this long before. So I thought, you know what? Since I've already let my nails grow out so long, I'm going to paint them and try to make them look cute. These are the nails. They're super like natural, but they have like the prettiest pink sheen. Oh, I love it so much. It's giving like pink glazed donut vibes. I love it. I 
always get scared when I'm doing these because I don't know if I like can I swallow once it's in my mouth or do I have to like wait like I never know so the last thing before I go to bed is obviously prayer but obviously I can't do that on camera but um, another thing that I like to do is journal this is my gratitude journal I like to write in here everything that I am grateful for that God has done either today or yesterday or last week whatever I'm gonna write down everything that I am grateful for because I never want to forget how good God has been in my life and I'm also going to write things that I'm gonna be grateful for that will happen in the future because by faith I am declaring that those things will happen and I'm grateful for them so that is just something I like to do at night before I go to bed so that way whatever worries I have I can just let go of that and really put it on my journal Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that it motivated you to take care of yourself and gave you sort of an idea of what to do on your self-care day. I really just like to kind of have like a full body reset, making sure that, you know, I'm taking care of myself because it is so easy to just get overwhelmed by everything that's happening in your life and then you just kind of neglect yourself. But I'm really grateful that I was able to have this day to just focus on myself and my mental health and my well-being and make sure that I'm taking care of myself so don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video I love you so much God bless you God loves you show love bye mm -hmm.